All right, so <clears throat> we're back on the live chat waiting for the parties to log in on our next case. Our live feed, not live chat. Judge. Good morning. Deborah, hey, what case are you here yeah. on? Are you asking me, Judge? Yes. It was my volume was turned on. I'm just here for sentencing starting at eleven, so I wasn't sure if you it, needed me from this well, morning. Um uh, I think we're in good shape. We've got a civil matter that got orphaned. I'm gonna turn the record on. So that's at ten thirty. Well welcome to watch but i'll just uh, learn from jim and luke that's right take notes right. two wise counsel good morning morning this is file 20852 pd it is a circuit court case st joseph county 45th circuit court it's been assigned to me due to a conflict in the circuit court title of the case is bonita foster Good, at, good morning, Ms. Foster. Good morning. You're there with Mr. Nofsinger. And uh, Mr. James Mequio is representing David Proctor. Uh, this matter has been somewhat orphaned, and I apologize. Uh, we had a status conference last January, and I issued an order. Uh, scheduling the matter for further hearing for last week and apparently no notice ever got sent out for last week uh, i also would refer the matter for mediation to begin after may 1st with mediator mark brown um, i got the file this morning uh, and uh, i was told the matter had been reset for today somebody said 10 and and I was told it was 10.30. There's no notice in the file, but everybody's here, so that's a good sign. And the order for mediation was just stuck in the file and never signed. So my apologies, but let's start with uh, you, Mr. Nofsinger, the plaintiff. What's the status from last January when I allowed time for discovery until today? Well, I think at this point, uh, discovery is nearly complete. Um, we just had uh, a deposition of defendant on Friday, and I think that will be sufficient. Um, we are, and the general rule of thumb is not to mediate until uh, discovery is complete. So I think at this point, we would be prepared to be arranging a mediation date with mediator Mark Brown. Um, and actually some issues arose Friday as to the court's last order as to the uh, property that's at issue. All right, well, let's take a look at that order. I just had it clipped and then I just pulled the clip at all. I ordered that neither party damage, dissipate, or sell any of the property in their possession. Parties agree to maintain the status quo until further order of the court. Court further orders that any motor vehicles in possession of either party not be dissipated, damaged, or sold. No motor vehicles shall be operated on a public roadway unless the vehicle is insured, properly registered, and has a licensed driver. 
Um, that's what I ordered regarding the property. Uh, Mr. Mequiel, what's your position here? Uh, Your Honor, I would agree with uh, Mr. Knopfsinger. Maybe we need some documents exchanged, but other than that, I think the uh, major depositions for this type of case have been taken. I think we're ready for um, for mediation in the very near future. Um, if Mr. Knopfsinger is talking about the damage done to the truck, apparently my client's truck may have been damaged in the parking lot or something of that nature, but it was insured. He was a licensed driver, I believe, at the time. So I don't think he violated any court order. I just think he was involved in an accident, not to his fault, that um, is not considered, I think, wasting or damaging. I think that goes to more of the party doing it rather than just a twist of fate. What's your position? Which vehicle are we talking about? It would be the white Ford truck. So it is, Your Honor, the damage to the white truck. Um, and under oath, uh, Mr. Proctor said he has not filed a police report. He has not made an insurance claim. We don't know if the insurance is current on the vehicle. Um, and in addition to those, during the deposition under oath, Mr. Proctor said that he's on anti-seizure medication and that he has, in fact, had several seizures in the last couple months. Uh, he drove to the deposition uh, in Portage. He lives in Three Rivers. Um, and in addition to that, the tags on the truck expired on May 6. So he has taken seizure medication. Under oath, he admitted he's had several seizures in the last couple months. He's on a litany of prescribed drugs, and he's driving a truck that has expired plates. That's our concern. Yeah, our issue, Your Honor, is the paperwork to get the plates may be in the hand of the plaintiff, and we may not have access to that. He's under doctor's care. I appreciate Mr. Nofstinger's concern for my client's health, but he's no doctor, and there's nothing to indicate that his license has been tampered with or taken away by a physician. Well, I haven't run a driving record. I don't even know I have authority to do that. Um, we have certainly over the years had a number of difficult cases with people's licenses with seizure disorders. I can think of one case that resulted in a fatality when I was trying to take a man's driving privileges away. Uh, but certainly now the, the vehicle doesn't have valid plates, so he can't drive it. Uh, and till further order of the court or until he gets it licensed. Uh, the order for mediation, and I feel better. Uh, I had hoped the mediation would start sometime in early April, but the discovery wasn't completed. Parties tell me everybody is ready now. And when we were here last time, the parties agreed on Mark Brown. The mediation would be under MCR 2.410C. Is that still acceptable to the parties? I have no objection to that. Um, I, well, after giving the, you know, in light of the deposition, I'm not, sh I mean, you never know what can happen at mediation, but um, so I'm a little remiss to suggest that I don't think it would be worthwhile. Um, but honestly, this is a case that could be set for and tried in front of your honor um, as soon as possible. Well, maybe things have digressed. When we were in January, both parties were fairly optimistic that mediation could resolve it. Um, now, and I'm sure that both parties are frustrated. Miss um, Foster probably met with you sometime in 2020. The matter got filed. We had a pretrial. I got disqualified in circuit court, so I got bumped down the road. It was assigned to me. I set the hearing. We had trouble setting the hearing. We allowed discovery, which apparently you've done. And so it is ready for something. Uh, but at that time, um, the parties were optimistic that it could be resolved in mediation rather than the expense of a trial over several days. Um, but it doesn't sound like the deposition went real well. So. 
I would still like to attempt it. Now we've got, I don't know what Mr. Brown's schedule is, mediation must be completed within 30, 60, or 90 days. I'm inclined to do 60 days. Um, is Mr. Brown an acceptable mediator for you, Luke? Yeah, I have, I have no, I, I have no uh, objection to Mr. Brown. I did just two weeks ago schedule a mediation for mid-June. So I, I guess I can't speak to Mr. Brown's schedule, um, but I'm hopeful that it can be scheduled very soon. Um, and then in addition to that, if we could concurrently schedule a trial date, um, that could then be adjourned if mediation isn't complete by then. All right, we often will do that. One of the problems, this is probably a good time to do that. Um, all right, so if we say within 60 days. Yeah, I was going to say the only issue is some of the courts are now starting to open up, so June is a mess for my schedule of trials. Well, that's not 60 days. Yeah. Uh, Right, I was just letting uh, uh, Luke know. Judge Patterson and I were hopeful that we could try some jury cases in July. I don't think that's going to happen. Our positivity rate is still at like 12%. So we're shooting for September. And then you're right, things will be packed as we is, have. Uh, the court's not trying cases in June? We're trying cases. We're not trying jury trials in June. Oh. Circuit court and district court, or just separately? I don't, I can't speak for circuit court. Oh, um, is that because I have uh, a couple of trial dates coming up? Yeah, they're, they're attempting there. to, but I check with the administrator. Um, then I have some vacation in July. August 11th is the do we believe we could try this in a full day? Well, it took almost a full day to two do two to do two depositions when you add up the, the time. So I'd be I'd be reluctant to say it. I'd like to try it. I'm hoping it can, but I can't guarantee it. I, th I think a day. I think if we are expedient, we could do it in a day. All right. Um, and in addition, mediation could narrow some issues, even if it doesn't resolve it. Um, Wednesday, August 4th is about how many days? 7, 30, 31, 4, 72 days from now. Uh, that'll give 60 days for mediation and another 12 days to see where we are. I'll block out the entire day. That may cause a problem for Judge Patterson. Um, I think it's my arraignment day. Let's take a look. Now the fourth should be a good day. Um, Wednesday, August 4th at 8.30. I will do another pretrial memorandum indicating we're setting the matter for trial for August 4th at 8.30. There is um, a referral to mediation within 60 days. Mr. Proctor is not going to like this, but he can't drive that truck if it's not properly plated. All right, I think he understands that, Your Honor. And if there is the documentation in the plaintiff's hand to get the new plates, we'd appreciate it to get it over to us. Well, I don't think they're going to do that since she contends it's her truck. Uh, so he may just be forestalled from using it. Um, <clears throat> all right. So I'll do that as soon as I finish here. Uh, I've got sentences at 11. Is there anything else we need to put on the record here? 
I don't know. Does Mark contact us, I assume, once he gets the order? Well, I'll contact the circuit court administrator, Ms. Griffin, and uh, uh, one of the problems this case got fell between the cracks is because it's between circuit and district and things ends up in the clerk's office and then it's noticed, but nobody knows it was noticed. And I apologize. I'll try to ride closer herd on this. I'll make sure the mediation order goes out today and uh, we send proper notices for the scheduling. And I think Ms. Griffin contacts Mr. Brown and then I believe he'll contact you regarding the dates. My my experience has been to, to reach out directly to Mark Brown, and I think okay. it expedites the process. So. All right, very good. Well, I use him under a different format, a different court rule, when he was helping with citizen mediation, the more of the district court mediation process, and he's very effective, so I'm glad you both agreed on him. Ms. Foster, I know this has been frustrating that this takes a long time, uh, we're going to see if perhaps something can be resolved at mediation. Doesn't sound terribly, not, doesn't sound as good as it did in January. But uh, I'm hopeful that the parties will go into it in good faith. And if it can be resolved, fine. If it can't, maybe the issues will be narrowed somewhat. And then we'll try to hear it all on Wednesday, August 4th. And if that isn't enough time, we'll schedule another day. Um, all right, anything further? I have nothing, Your Honor. All um, right. I guess my only question, if if there's a potential sanction, if we know that Mr. Proctor is driving the vehicle in violation of the court's order, or that his license is not valid, or um, I, I don't know what sort of sanction, um, I guess I could file a show cause at this point. Um, I don't know if the court would entertain yes. some more immediate or if that would be the preferred avenue. Well, what I'm going to order is that he not drive it unless it's properly plated. I don't know enough about the accident or when or where or how it happened, and I don't know whether he has a valid driver's license or, or that, but I don't know how badly it was damaged. Um, as I recall, your pleading showed that she had the title to it. Is that correct, Luke? Yeah, that is correct. She's had those for years now. Yeah. We believe, Your Honor, the title was improperly given to her, or at least taken by her, and under false pretenses. And thus, but my clients has always had possession of the truck. So I don't know what you can make of that. But if he wants to file a motion, we'll be glad to answer it and let the court know our position. But right now, certainly the court doesn't have any information to deal with it. You're right. It's a shot in the dark. All right. Um, if there's nothing further, I'll go dictate that order and I'll try to facilitate a proper notice and uh, get that mediation scheduled as soon as possible. Thank you, Ralph. All right. Thank you.